Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing and perfect will. That's Romans chapter 12, verses one and two out of the New International Version. Good morning to all of you thriving people of God. This is Pastor Enrique Brooks of Thrive Church. We give God praise for your presence today on this marvelous Monday. Yes, this is the day that the Lord has made, and we make the conscious decision to rejoice and be glad in it. Such a blessing to hear your voices, to see your names, to know that you have continued with your commitment to this lifestyle that we call Prayer 365. I want to take a moment and thank each of you that joined us yesterday for our worship service. And we had a, a powerful time in the Lord. And God spoke to us, amen, through his word. We lifted a message titled, Renew Your Mind. Amen. And I praise God for that message. We we attempted to um, to make it through it, but um, we, we, we got a little carried away. Amen. Well, I'll take the responsibility of that. Amen. God began to break open that word in a in a powerful way. Amen. So we're going to pick up where we left from um, this upcoming Sunday. Amen. But with everything that we discussed on yesterday, we want to make sure that we're not just simply hearers of the word, but doers of the word. So what we do on these these weekdays when we come together for prayer for about 15 minutes and we take portions from Sunday's message and we make it applicable to our everyday living. Amen. Because God desires to expand the kingdom of heaven through your life. All right. So let's go ahead and dive into our devotion for this morning. Amen. Just a correction from what you may have seen in the text message. That was a a mistake on the theme that you saw. But the theme for this week is going to be the theme from Sunday's message. And that is renew your mind. I want you to say that aloud. Call out your personal name. I'm going to say my name. You say your name. Enrique, renew your mind. Yes, God desires to do great things through you, but it begins with a renewal of the mind. We need to be able to discern what God's will is. We need to be able to align ourselves with his purposes. But the only way that we can do this, as Paul is described in this 12th chapter of Romans, is that number one, we've got to fix our view. Number two, we've got to be all in. And then number three, we must renew our minds. You see, my brothers and sisters, this morning on this marvelous Monday, what I want to remind you of today is nothing else but that you are here on assignment. Yes, you, my brothers and sisters, you are here on assignment. I want you to say that aloud. Say, I am here on assignment. No no matter what the world may have made you feel, to feel like you were here by accident or that you know um, it wasn't a planned pregnancy, it was a surprise to your parents or there were some other conditions as to why you were here and the the devil would try to make you feel lesser of your value, but I want you to know that that's a lie. Hallelujah. We rebuke and displace that lie with God's word. You are here on assignment. God formed you in your mother's womb. He knew you. He had already uh, assigned an assignment on your life. You're here on assignment. And this is why Apostle Paul says this here. He says, do not conform to the pattern of this world. That means, my brothers and sisters, when we're talking about conforming, that means that we cannot begin to fit in a man in this world. I'll put it this way. What that means is that we cannot begin to make 
compromises. In other words, you cannot compromise your assignment for the sake of fitting in with this world. It's so easy because what we see so much of, whether it be on the television, on social media, even sometimes in the church, is that we see a great presence of the world's culture. But he's letting us know you don't want to conform to that. I want to remind you, you are on assignment. Do not allow yourself to compromise what God has assigned on your life for the sake of sounding like somebody else. Do not compromise what God has assigned on your life just to be just to make somebody else happy. Do not compromise what God has assigned on your life just because of fear. Do not allow yourself to be conformed to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. The first step to renewing your mind is to remember who you are. Hallelujah. You've got to remember who you are. And I'm telling you this morning, my brother, I'm telling you this morning, my sister, God has placed you here on assignment. Hallelujah. You are placed here with a purpose. You are placed here for his will, for his glory. He desires to use your life for the expansion of his kingdom. You are that means that you shouldn't live casually. That means that you shouldn't walk around aimlessly, but you should walk, hallelujah, fixing your view on the mercy of God. You should walk with the with the mindset that says that I am all in, I am fully committed, and you should walk with a renewed mind so that you can truly discern what the will of God is. But just remember, you're here on assignment. I want to pray for you this morning because God is doing a work in your life and you are living your best life. And I want you to remember that God has an assignment on your life. Let's pray. Father, we praise you today. We give you glory and honor. God, we magnify your holy name. Because God, you are good and your mercy endures forever. Father, there's nobody like you. Hallelujah. Nobody strong like you. Nobody wise like you. Father, nobody that heals like you do. Oh, yes, God. We call on you as Jehovah Rapha, the God that heals. Father, there are some of us that need healing in our bodies. Father, there are some of us that need healing in our minds. Father, we receive that healing today. Father, we ask you to forgive us today of our sins. Father, forgive us for everything that we've done that is not of you, every mistake, every time that we've strayed away. Father, forgive us, Lord, and cleanse us of all unrighteousness. And Father, I pray that, Lord, this day, you will remind my brother and my sister as they go through their everyday living. Paul said it like this in the message translation. He said, you're eating, you're sleeping, you're going around life take it and place it as an offering before God. Yes, God, we are going to be mindful of the truth that we are here on assignment. Father, I rebuke the voices that have been speaking to them. I rebuke the lies that have been that have been screaming in their ears. Father, I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we displace it with your truths. Father, we are a chosen generation. Hallelujah. A royal priesthood. Father, you have us here on assignment. And Father, I thank you for the transformation that's taking place. I thank you for the for the development for the growth that's taking place father i thank you for the renewal that's taking place yes god i thank you lord and father we glorify your name and as we close out this prayer we pray the way that jesus taught us to pray and we say our father who art in heaven holy is your name thy kingdom come thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven lord give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors Father, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the hand of the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. And all of God's children say, amen. God bless you all. This is Pastor Enrique Brooks of Thrive Church. We give God praise for you being here. Remember, God did not make you to just get by. 
but he created you to thrive. So you do that by remembering that you are here on assignment. I love each of you. God loves each of you. I'll see you tomorrow at the same time. Bye-bye.